G'day everybody, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to show you how I created this picture here. You may have seen it on my Instagram or Twitter earlier in the week. So as usual, let's get started. This is the template that we are going to use this week and I created this template in Affinity Photo. And by the way, it will be available for you to download from the Buy Me A Coffee site if you would like to use the template. And along the way, I'm gonna have some other things for you as well that you will be able to get on the buy me a coffee site. So let's bring over our first picture and this one of the stars. We're gonna copy this one with a command C and bring it over to the picture of the clouds here that we're gonna use and use a command V. And to come over here to my move tool and stretch this all the way over the top of the clouds here. Even make it a little bit bigger if you like, just so we cover all of those clouds. Going to on this star layer add a mask. And on our mask layer here, I'm going to come over here and use my gradient tool. So right on top, right in the middle here with this green line, and let's just drag all the way down, as far as we can go, all the way down to the bottom. Then I'm just going to use this slider here to manipulate it, make it a little bit darker on top, and just so our clouds show on the bottom here. Let's just click on our hand tool here. Let's merge all these together. I'm holding my shift key down and then right clicking and I'm just going to go merge visible just to give me one copy now. So let's copy that with a command C. Bring it over here to our template and command V. Double click on our layer here and we can resize that. Command zero to bring that up a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to size it to cover the whole of the back there. Let's call that our stars. Hit enter. I need two more copies. So let's go command J, command J. So I've got two copies. Let's just turn off the top two for now. And the stars copy here that we've got ticked, going to clip it to the back of the template here, the purple part of the template. So I'm just going to drag that down and clip it to the back. Now we can maneuver that inside of that purple template. Just move it up a little bit. And we can play with all that a little bit later. Okay, let's turn on one of our other star layers here and let's bring that down and clip it to the left side. Then we make sure we're on our move tool and we can move that over to the left side. Let's turn on our other stars one now and let's bring that down to our right side, all the way down the bottom. Flip it to the right side, let's that move that across as well. And that looks pretty good, our room's starting to come together. Let's just collapse these ones. And for our floor, we're going to bring over just the stars here. So Command C, over to our template, right on top and Command V. Again, let's double click so we can resize that and use our Command Zero to get that back to normal size. And we're going to do the same. We're going to clip our stars just to our floor here. So let's drag that down and clip it. Just resize that, drag that out. Got our floor in place. We've got a little bit of a gap down here. So let's come on to our left side here and just drag that clouds down a little bit. That's looking pretty good. So we've got our room set up now with all of our layers in place. Maybe even that right side might be able to come down just a tiny bit. Okay, looking pretty good. Let's just go on to the left side here and add a levels adjustment. Flip that just to the left side. Just going to bring the black level up to about 3%. And the output white, I'm going to bring to 90, just nice and subtle. And I'm going to add this to each of our other layers here. So Command J, one for the back. Command J, one for the right side as well. So we can just have those on every layer. Just gives it a little bit of a darker look. So we're ready to bring over our next picture now. I'm going to bring over the picture of the frame. And you can see I've already made the selection of the frame to save a little bit of time. So I'm just going to copy the frame over. 
and paste it into our room here. Double click again and resize that, makes it a bit easier to resize. And our command zero again to make it a little bigger. Making sure I'm still on my move tool and just going to resize my frame and put it right in the middle and I'll make it a little bit bigger. Right on that green line so we're in the middle and quite high up so that looks pretty good. All I'm going to do while I'm here is just copy that with a command J. Bottom copy here, I'm going to come down here to FX and turn on that and turn on color overlay. That's going to make that frame go black. So on that layer here I'm just going to stretch that out a little bit and I'm going to add a Gaussian blur and I'm just going to bring that up to three. One, two, three. Nice and easy. Very, very subtle again. On that layer I'm going to drop the opacity down to 30%. Just like that. And you have a look now. We click off. Got some really nice detail in our shadow as well. So that looks pretty good for our frame. The frame again, I'm going to add a levels adjustment to darken it up a bit. And let's clip that just to the frame, bringing down my output white again and upping my black so a little bit further down on that output white. Let's just make it 50%. And the black level, let's take that to 15. That looks pretty good. Got our frame in place, and we can name that frame if you like. And we can put this one frame shadow. Okay, so we've got our frame in place. Let's bring over the next picture now of our model and the umbrella. And you can see I have already made a selection. But let's copy that over with a command C, over to the template and command V. Again, let's double click and resize that model. Bring that picture back up again and I'm going to place my umbrella just so I can see the corners of the frames here. So I just want to make that maybe a little bit smaller. Take it up a little bit. A little bit smaller again. Want to see some of that torso as well. So looking good about there in the middle again and we're going to add a mask. So down here to our masks and add a mask. Okay, so let's click on the mask. Going to grab our brush tool here. Make sure that we've got a nice soft basic brush. Going to be painting in black. Make our brush a little bit bigger. Low, we can bring up to 100% at this stage. And we're just going to paint away the bottom part here. All the way up to the frame. When we get up closer, let's make our brush a lot smaller. I'm just using my right and left bracket keys, and then we're just going to take it away just to inside that frame there. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so we've got our model in place. Let's bring over our cloud now. We'll add our cloud. So come over here to our cloud. You can see again, I've already made the selection of my cloud using my selection brush tool. Let's copy that and see. Back over to the template and command V. Double click again onto our move tool to resize that cloud. Command zero to make it a little bit bigger and let's get our cloud in place. So I'm thinking again about there looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit further down. Okay, about there looks pretty good. I'm going to make a copy of this again, Command J. On the bottom one, I'm going to do the same thing with my FX or layer effects. And I'm going to again add a color overlay. That's going to make that cloud a little bit blacker. And I'm going to just move each of these sides up and out a little bit. And again, add a Gaussian blur. This one again is only going to be very subtle at about three. Give that little blur on that layer. I'm going to drop the opacity all the way down to about 30. 
just to give it a little bit of depth on that back wall there. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to add another pixel layer just on top of the cloud shadow layer here. Still on my black color here and my brush tool. I'm going to grab my brush tool. Bring my flow down to about 20%. Nice big brush. And I'm just going to add my shadow under here for my cloud. Get a bit jagged. And again, drop that opacity for that shadow down to about 50%. So let's rename that one to cloud. This one to cloud shadow. And this one to back cloud shadow. There we go, we've got our cloud in place. So the next thing we can do now is bring over the rain. So we've got our rain here. So I'm going to also include this as a download on the Buy Me A Coffee site if you would like to use it. Let's copy our rain, Command C, back over to our template and Command V. Again, double click on our move tool, Let's make this a lot smaller. Bring it up here to our Picture. So we're just going to change the blend mode of our rain to screen. And we're going to make two more copies. Command J, Command J. So let's group these three layers of our rain now. Just clicking on the top one, holding down my shift key and clicking on the bottom one here with a command G. Let's call that rain. And let's stretch that rain all the way over the umbrella here, the side of the umbrella. Make sure we've got it over the whole umbrella here. Let's add a mask to our rain. And let's get our paintbrush again. With our flow of about 20%, we're still painting in black. And we're just going to blend this rain in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to change my color to white. Make my brush a little bit smaller. Just where those parts that we've gone too far, we're going to just go over those again. We can just swap between black and white to bring in or take away. Make my brush a little bit smaller back to the black. Take away it just above here and the sides. Okay, once we are happy and we've got all the rain in the spot that we want, it's going to move it behind the cloud. So the rain is going into the cloud, still on that mask there. We still need to take, just take that little bit away there, back on the color and just fix that up a little bit there. That is looking pretty good. Okay, there we go. We've got our rain in place and our cloud in place. One more little thing that I haven't done is just on the umbrella layer here. I'm just going to add another pixel layer. I'm going to have it underneath the umbrella here. Clicking on my brush again, bring that flow down to about 10%. Make the brush a little bit bigger. And let's just put a little bit of shadow the side of that umbrella there, making that look a little bit better. And then just another pixel layer on top of the cloud here, changing that blend mode to overlay. Still got my black brush, but I just want to enhance some of the black areas on this cloud here. Nice and subtle. And while I'm here, I can see that that shadow behind the cloud is still a little bit strong. So I'm going to drop that down to about 20%. Looks a little bit better. Okay, just a couple more things to do. Let's add another pixel layer on top. Okay, I'm going to use these brushes here, which are called dripping. I'm going to grab a few drips from here. Let's make sure my color is white. Grab this one, make that a lot smaller. And I'm just going to add a few water drips on the bottom of this frame here. Make this one a lot smaller as well on this side. Okay, I'm going to bring the opacity down on those drips. A little bit stronger about there. Let's put them underneath the rain. Drop the opacity a little bit more. Now I'm going to rotate those drips just to keep in the theme of this picture. If the rain's going upwards, it makes sense that the drips would be going upwards 
well. So one last thing to do, right on top here, I'm going to add a LUT that I created. I'm calling it dusty, so it gives a dusty looking look over the picture. So let's load the LUT. I'm here to this dusty LUT that I've got here. And let's drop the opacity on that LUT down to 50%. So let's have a look at that. That's the before, that's the after. So just adds a little bit of a dusty look onto that picture there. So I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial this week. If you have, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. And don't forget to head over to the Buy Me A Coffee site. I'll have over there the LUT, the rain, and the template that you can download for yourself absolutely free on the Buy Me A Coffee site. But until next time, I'm going to say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.